So I'm walking around campus interviewing people, asking them to identify some belief they hold to, um, some deeply held belief. It could be anything at all. I'll let, I'll let the per- I'll, you identify it. <clears throat> it could be religious or otherwise. And I want to interview you concerning how you arrived at that belief. All right. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. My name is Raul. What's yours? Matt. Matt. Okay. Nice to meet Matt. you, Matt. Um, let me write down your name. And I'm going to write down the time just so I, have to keep, I don't hope to keep you for too crazy long. Um, I try to keep it anywhere between five and ten minutes. But if at any point you have to go, there's no problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm in like a little bit of a hurry, but not okay. so I can give you Okay, advice. sure. Um, so what, what's some belief that you hold to? We can start there. And you can go with my religious belief. Okay, and what what's that? I'm Roman Orthodox Catholic. Yeah, so Roman Catholic. Okay. Um, so Roman Catholic. So um, we can start with, wh- why, why are you Roman Catholic? Why? I was born into it. I mean, that's probably the most, uh, like the very beginning of it, you could say. Okay. And what, what belie- what's like the core of your belief as, as a Roman Catholic? I'm um, just uh, abide by the Ten Commandments, believe in God, only one God, of course. Okay. Um, so maybe we can work with that. So you, so you said you, you believe in God. Yeah. So I, I'm guessing that's obviously pretty fundamental to, to your faith. Yeah. So why, why do you believe in that? Why do you hold that belief? Why do we believe now or why do, why did it start? I mean, that's, um, like, what I, I can ask it this way. What, what convinces you that that belief is true, that your that God is, exists? Um, so for me, I'll, I'll admit there's times that, you know, you question it. Mm-hmm. There's like, uh, I feel like there probably is for every religion. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, it's it's as simple as it's a feeling. Man. It's just okay. you, you simply either believe in it or you don't. Stuff that has happened in your life, stuff that you've seen, things you've felt, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. Uh, obviously, like you get deeper and say prayer is involved in all that. But, okay. So things you've seen and felt, yeah. prayer. Um, <clears throat> so would you say a feeling is, is the main reason you would offer for why you, you're convinced that your, your belief in God is a correct belief? Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. Just, yeah, a feeling is probably okay. the best way to... One, one thing I like to do with the interviews is, um, ask you to quantify that, that cert- that level of certainty you have concerning your belief. So on a scale of zero to a hundred, with this is zero being zero certainty and then a hundred being absolute certainty, where would you say you are? How certain are you that God exists? I'm pretty sure. I'd say I'm you know, 99, 100%. 99, okay. Yeah. All right, so that, that just gives us an idea. So 99% certain that God exists, and you're certain because of this of certain feelings you've had, correct? Yeah. Okay, so what would um, what would disconfirm your beliefs? What would convince you that you were wrong concerning your belief? Um, I don't know, man. Honestly, I've never been put in that position. You know? mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people after like a, a loss or something like that, you mm-hmm. know, um, sometimes we'll question things, mm-hmm. like if we're based on faith, mm-hmm. um, or if they're going through hard times, I think that's when sometimes you'll hear about or see people who are mm-hmm. losing faith, as they say, but okay. I've never been put in that position. Um, so if, if, if feeling is a reason you believe God exists, is it, so is there anything that would convince you that you were wrong concerning that belief? If, if feeling convinces you that God exists, is there... What would be the um, thing that the deacon de- convinces you that God exists? I don't know. Yeah, you know, so like I said, I've n- I've never been put in that situation, so okay. not, it's not something I've ever really thought about. You know? Okay. Um, is is the reason that you gave for your belief a reason that could work just as well for, um, you know, somebody who holds like the opposite belief or just a different different sure. belief? Sure. Yeah, because I mean, if you think about it, man. There's what hundreds if not thousand different mm-hmm. you know there's only you know a handful of main religions you know islam catholic Jew, mm-hmm. judaism you know? right all the major world right religions. yeah but i mean this i'm sure there's other ones out there that you know mm-hmm. buddhism you know um just different beliefs and they mm-hmm. all believe the same thing or different thing rather based off of a feeling i would say or mm-hmm. their belief so okay i'm sure that they could their feeling would probably contradict my feeling if that, <laughs> make, if that if you get what i'm saying yeah so, like so, so let me ask you this: as as an objective observer, say if I'm from the outside looking at, at both of you, or you and whoever, mm-hmm. uh, a Muslim or an atheist, ha, ha, and you're you're all giving the same reasons. You you say feeling, the Muslim says feeling, mm-hmm. the atheist says feeling. How do I determine who is correct? Oh, you know that's hard, man. I think that would come down to you and your personal beliefs. And mm-hmm. like you said, if you're kind of an outsider and you haven't, you haven't. Uh, been objective to one of them you're kind of indifferent i think uh 
you know, if you're not born into it like I was. And mm-hmm. there was, like I said, there's been times that I've questioned it, but I think you would have to try it, try it out. I mean, you could mm-hmm. be as simple as go to a Catholic church and say, you yeah, know, I'm not buying this. This doesn't feel right. Mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not digging the vibe, you know, and then mm-hmm. maybe you go to a, a Jew, Jewish temple and you're like, you know, I can kind of vibe with this. I get mm-hmm. what they're saying. I feel it. And then, you know, who knows, maybe you go to a mosque, man. And that, out, that's that's out, my thing. Yeah. yeah. Find out that's your thing, you know? So, so, so if, if the, the method that you use to, to arrive at your belief is a method that can work for, to arrive at any, basically any belief, um, <clears throat> how, how valuable is it as a method of arriving at truth? What do you mean? Can you, can you restate that question? Sure. Um, <clears throat> so you're, you're using a certain method of arriving at your, your belief, and that is, you, you described it as... Oh, yeah, yeah, like trying out different things. As feeling. Yeah, yeah. Right? And, and <clears throat> the Muslim, he uses the same exact method as you. Mm-hmm but he arrives at a different conclusion. And mm. so if, if your method, namely feelings, mm. um, can be used to basically prove anything, h- how, how valuable of a tool is it for, for deciding the nature of reality, to, for deciding truth, for arriving at accurate conclusions? Mm. I don't know, that's a good question. I'm, I feel like I'm kind of understanding the question, but not quite. So you're saying like, if I say I believe in this and he says he believes in something different, how valid is belief? Is that what you're asking? Yeah, or to state, um, it, to state it a little differently, uh, if, if you're saying I believe what I believe because of feeling and he's saying I believe what I believe because of feeling. Well, that's two different feelings. It's not the same feeling, you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, what, do you, what do you mean? Well, it's I, the same, me- same exact method. Same method, but it's a different result. I mean, you can do well, different results, but okay. exactly that's so. I mean, you can do the same thing a hundred different times, and you can get a hundred different answers or a hundred different findings. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? So, um, but that's the thing about belief, though, and that's just, the biggest uh, the biggest uh, contra indication, if you would, or the biggest antagonist to religion is would be reality and the fact that people say, "Well, you just believe it; you don't see it," mm-hmm. you know. You, you don't have any proof, per se, that, mm-hmm. you know, God or this person, whoever actually walked the earth, you don't have any proof of it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, man, they're right. But at the end of the day, a, a belief or a feeling is, is a belief, and it is what it is. Do you, do you feel like it's important for your beliefs to match reality? No. No. Because, and actually, my roommate, he's very atheist, and I've kind of talked to them about this, and at the <laughs> end of the day, you know, at the end of time, when I'm dead, whatever, mm-hmm. I do come to find out that, you know, God is really not real and mm-hmm. religion's all a fake. Well, I mean, mm-hmm. in the end, man, I still live my life as I feel as a better person because mm-hmm. I believed in it. And, yeah. I mean, no harm, no foul, I guess. You know? Yeah. So you're saying that um, it's not it's not important that your beliefs match reality because it's it's sort of um, it's benign. It, does, it, is, it doesn't matter. My, my beliefs cannot match reality in every... In, nothing be out of whack in my right, life. Yeah, I mean, because like I said, I feel personally like my beliefs make me a better person mm-hmm. by the way that I follow them, things that I do, the persona I hold, my, the way I hold myself. Mm-hmm. Um, so like I said, even if it even if it didn't match reality, in the end it doesn't. I, I feel like I still will have been better off through believing it, you know. Um, I'm, I, I'm recalling that you said you were a Roman Catholic, yeah. right? So you believe in the Bible, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, is, is, does the Bible have the same nonchalant approach towards people who choose not to believe in God? As in, like, how so? How, how I'm cool with my roommate being atheist or... Yeah, is, is God just as nonchalant? Is he, no, is he like, not, hey, not. hey, believe it, you know, believe what you want, it's not a... Yeah, no, not really. And that's why, like I told you, I've, there's times that I've doubted it. But um, in the world today, I've kind of just started to approach things with... Uh, you know, your life doesn't really affect me. So, mm-hmm. and I'm not going to try and suppress my beliefs or my religion onto you. Mm-hmm. I expect you not to do the same to me. Mm-hmm. But just, I mean, the one thing I think everyone should do is that golden rule, man. Treat your, treat everyone else the way you want to be treated. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't consider myself super orthodox. You know, mm-hmm. I'm not at church every Sunday. I'm not standing on the corner mm-hmm. yelling the Bible. But I believe what I believe. So, okay. Um, but no, to answer your question, no, the the I guess you could say the more extreme Catholics, no, they want you to believe what they believe, but 
that's not me. So, do you, do you feel like the Bible is more consistent with with your attitude or with with their uh, attitude? I guess that would depend which part you looked at. In the New Testament, it'd be uh, kind of in the middle, but Old Testament, no, definitely not, man. You'd <laughs> you'd have to be. It's their way or the highway. Yeah. So, well, doesn't the New Testament talk about hell though? For Dude, I'll be honest with you. I do not. I, I don't know that much of the Bible. Okay. Like, I'm not. I don't go home and read it. <laughs> I, I could tell you a lot of the big stories about it. You know, I could tell you kind of the just meaning of a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But I, I definitely, I don't read the Bible. So. Okay. I, let me read that. I don't read it regularly. Right, yeah. So. You're not a student of it, so to No, speak. definitely yeah. not. No. Okay. Well, I know you said you, you, uh, you were short on time, so I don't want to keep you too long, Matt. But I, I appreciate the conversation, man. Yeah. Out of curiosity, what's this for? Um, it's just a personal hobby. I have a... Um, I can give you my card. I have a YouTube channel where I post these interviews that I have with people on the streets. Oh, and nice. um, my purpose is just to get people to think critically, self-critically about their the beliefs that they hold to and examine um, the method that they use to arrive at that belief. That's why I was asking you about, in your case, you said feeling is, a, is the approach that you use uh, to arrive at your belief. And that's why I was asking you about that because um, I just wanted, wanted to ask you, um, how how valid of a method that is for arriving at truth? And in your case, you said you admitted that it's 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 not valid, but it doesn't matter because right. what we believe is you know whatever. Cool. All right, man. Yeah. Well, All right, man. Appreciate it. Yeah.